gurgling. <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I hope I look alright. You look great. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. And I'm from Western New York. Today's video is going to be filled with a lot of showing you the woven rag rug. I got requests from Pamela, Jane Patrick, and Voon Chile to show how I actually weaved it. And I put in a little extra and you'll actually see all my mistakes too. Because when I'm working on things, I do make mistakes. And a lot of times when you're watching videos, you don't see the mistakes. I'm sure they're making mistakes too, but they cut them all out. I could have cut these out, but I left them in. So you'll see how challenging it can be and why it only gets to be just so far. And when you're working on it, if you should choose to try to do this, you'll say, gee, why didn't she have any trouble? And I'm always having trouble. Well, I have trouble too. That's, um, that's why I left them in. I had a request to show how I weave the, the rug. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And what I do is, is um, I go, the right hand goes up, and then I swap hands, and then it goes, the right hand would go behind. The right hand up, swap hands, and then it goes behind. Right hand goes up, and it goes behind. The one that goes behind has to match the color that's, that's in front, because I'm using two colors. And so then up, and then under. And what I what I find so that I don't make big mistakes, because I make a lot of mistakes, I will go, I will keep it close, go behind, and then I bring the one up above and I bring it behind. And this way my fingers are close to what I'm working on so I can see what goes and then and then you have to untangle, of course your long tails because they're in there and you're gonna find a lot of strings when you work with sheets okay and then continue again so and it's white so white goes behind blue will come up over and then it's blue so blue will go behind that's it this is, it makes it easier if you have two different colors if you have the same color, boy, you could make mistakes so easy. And if I don't talk it, I do better when I don't talk what I'm doing because my brain is thinking without my mouth helping. <laughs> it makes it so hard to tell you. But you just bring the one up and then look to see what color it is. So right always goes up and behind, up and behind. Okay, up and behind, then up and behind, and so you just keep going until you get to the end. When I get to the end, I'll show you what I do. Before I go around the peg, I'm going to show you how you can attach, because I have to attach, my thing has gotten short, so I have to attach another one, and what you do is See, it doesn't have to be even. See, as you can see, I'm not even, and neither is this one, really. You fold them so that the raw edges are together, or the open edges are together. You make like a fold. So now you have a fold. And you take a pair of scissors, and you put a little snip in that fold, just a little one, nothing too deep. Then you take your two pieces apart. And what I do is I leave the one that I'm gonna add, this is the one I'm gonna add, and this is the one that's connected. I lay them so now they're, oh, the ends are reversed and I stick my finger through that hole and I take the tail of the one that I'm going to add. And because this one's on top, I go from underneath and you stick that little tail through the hole and pull. And you keep pulling till you come to the end. When you come to the end, you just pull 
and this is the knot and that's those tabs that you're seeing up here all these tabs that's part of my knot and what I'll do with these is I take a crochet hook and I pull it through to the other side so the other side is going to be my wrong side this will be my right side and then you continue to to work your project let's see that one's wrong see I, I made a mistake I gotta undo and this is why it takes me so long because I have to undo all the time okay this should be dark and then it should be light and then it should be dark oh there's a mistake here that's why see this is on the wrong side of my oh and I know you yeah you I'm won't be happy it it'll, it'll all come it out to come out I think it's on the wrong side let me see wait a minute let me let me double check before I have to rip out okay Let's see, this one goes, I gotta pull these strings. And when you have strings like this, you just pull them out of the way because there's always gonna be strings on sheets. And then you just discard them. <laughs> and I'm gonna <laughs> discard them on the floor <laughs> because I don't wanna walk over to the basket at the moment. Okay, so that would be under. This one should be the dark under. Then the light under, okay, and then the, let's see, there's, what, this is where it's wrong, I think, because it should go dark under, or it should go dark under, and it can't, because I did a mistake here, so it's got to come out. Mm -hmm. So out we come, and, and what I'll do is I'll disconnect. I want to disconnect this long one that I just added because it makes a lot of pulling it through. So you just kind of loosen it and just reverse the, the pull of it. Oh, always mistakes. Even though I think I know what I'm doing half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, and there it is. And then I wind this one back up. And it'll go on in the next, when I get this out. I've got to go all the way over to here. That means this whole row's got to come out. Not because there's so much, there's so much confusion in this that they've never noticed the mistake. But I know it's there, so it's got to come out. It means two full rows. And now I got to take this one out. This one will come out easier because it's it's the only one that's left. And I'll make this one shorter too because it's too much to keep pulling. So you just kind of pull on it and it will you will find the the end. It might help if I take it out of the thing. Okay, wind that one back up. That with the pile it's over there. <laughs> I just threw it. Okay, now, well, since we're at this point, I can show you how we went around this point since I did it wrong before. Okay, what I do is okay, this you see that one goes behind, so this one would go behind because it's blue. Now this one would go behind because it's white. So you gotta go through the back side with the one. And you go through the other side with the other. You push it the opposite direction. You go around the little pole and the, the wharf that's there. I got stuck on that clothespin because I had to put that in as a gap or because I used the wrong I used the wrong I used an open whatever it was called. Okay now used a screw hook instead, instead of a screw, screw eye. eye. 
Okay, now this one goes... No, 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 no. Something's wrong still. Something's still wrong. Take it out again. <laughs> oh, gosh. This happens a lot on her crafts. Because I don't... I a want them taking, correct. Putting together and taking out. Okay, this one goes behind. This one goes over in this direction. This one goes this direction. No, it goes the other direction. It goes this direction. One goes one way, one goes the other way. Okay. And then come back around. Okay, now it would be white behind because I've got white up front. All right, now we're gonna. Now we're cooking. Now it's going right. And then you continue. But you probably would have never noticed that mistake if I didn't point it out. But to me, I know it's there. If I know it's there, it's got to go. And that's why it takes me so long to do a lot of crafts because they have to be perfect. And heaven help if I find something that's way up there because I end up taking it out. And things don't get done as quick as you'd like. But there you go. That's how you do it. Okay. There are videos out there that show this a whole lot closer explains it a whole lot better, doesn't make any mistakes, at least they don't show them, but everybody makes mistakes. I know, but a lot of them, they never show them. Creative editing. Yeah, but you'll see all my mistakes. I folded them together and I did a little cut on the fold. This already has a cut, so we're just going to lay it on top. Put your finger through. Get the end of your material. Stick it up through the hole. You're doing both holes or just both one? Both holes you're going through because you want to connect this. And then just pull it through. And there you go. You got your knot. And then you start all over again. Now I'm going to show you how you rip. I take the scissors and I just make a snip in the material. Just a little snip. And then you just start pulling. And it doesn't matter if they're narrow or wide. I try to make them about an inch. I think that's about an inch. And you just rip all the way down. The material, they, they say if you want to get a straight edge on material, you rip it and it'll find the straight edge. Well, some materials are woven poorly, so they won't. And then I just, put that over there. Then I just wind it up so that when it comes time to connect it, I have this section that I will connect. I had also a comment about silver fox and all the and um, the other hens laying eggs on her. Yes, they do. They sit. She doesn't steal the eggs. She actually will be in the box, and another hen will sit right on top of her and hatch their egg, and then she scoots the egg underneath her. And when she leaves the box, she doesn't leave the box. She has another hen come and sit on it, and Brownie always sits on them. So she has a babysitter so that I can't steal the eggs. And nobody else can steal the eggs either. And when I mentioned Blue Bike and Doyle yesterday about him taking his long ride to the CVS, it was nine miles to the CVS, and he ended up going 100 miles to get to that same CVS. That was a really long roundabout trip. Sounds about right. Yeah, that's what he did. He <laughs> took the long way, real long way, to get there. And so, um, oops, a daisy. I forgot to put the video in. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to try to sneak it in right after I mentioned 
Pamela, Jane, Patrick, and Voon. I'm going to see if I can sneak it in there. So I hope I could, and I hope I can, and I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, bye-bye.